Hello guys, Harry Thomas here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another versus video on my channel as you all have loved my Lion King 1994 versus Lion King 2019 uh, that so much. Uh, yes, so uh, here uh, uh, today we will be uh, taking a look at uh, which um, Barbie Heimer uh, movie is uh, the, the stronger one of the two. I mean, uh, b both are gold. I mean, unlike with uh, comparing two Lion King movies, w which was like uh, comparing uh, g gold uh, to uh, dog uh, uh this, whereas uh, uh, comparing Barbie with Oppenheimer is comparing gold to gold. Uh, so, uh, uh, C comparing two good movies is harder, but uh, I will uh, do, do my best, and and will be fair, and uh, I'm, and this is not only to mark the first anniversary of Barbie Heimer, uh, but uh, also uh, to uh, celebrate the recent wonderful news of Margot Robbie's a uh, pregnancy, and uh, yeah, her child is uh, so lucky to have such an awesome uh, mother uh, like her. So without further ado, uh, our two movies are facing off today. Barbie versus Oppenheimer. So uh, yeah, of course, uh, Barbie uh, will uh, uh, beat Oppenheimer uh, for box office takings, although Oppenheimer got far more awards than Barbie did. Uh, so both movies beat the other on, on something, but uh, when you judge the quality of uh, the films, uh, uh, Let's uh, let's not uh, be too quick to judge Barbie just because of its uh, risky, uh, controversial messages. I mean, both are risky movies and ambitious. I mean, a a I mean a Barbie doll with a a with a message about gender equality. Of of course, that movie is going to get backlash from us, some haters. And you Oppenheimer, a movie about the man. Who, who built a bomber that uh, is responsible for the death of, of millions uh, during World War II. So, uh, yeah, that, that's uh, uh, g gonna... Uh, so, so that's gonna be harder to uh, make us, uh, well, a uh, root for the, the, the protagonist. Uh, but, uh, but uh, yeah, let's uh, take a look at our first category, uh, the uh, b better... Uh, uh, looking movie visually, and uh, right off the bat, uh, uh, Barbie uh, 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 has uh, Oppenheimer beats uh, uh, at the uh, visuals hands down. Oppenheimer's production designer Stella and Christopher Nolan, uh, he is a wizard at uh, nailing uh, historical tones, uh, particularly He's done this with World War II movies before, like he did with Dunkirk, six years before Oppenheimer. And Oppenheimer undoubtedly has the uh, uh, strongest uh, sound effects and sound editing of 2023, particularly in the sequence where the bomb is tested for the first time. You could literally hear a pin drop in the fear. So, uh, it was uh, such an eerie scene. And, uh, uh, and the... Uh, and the orange uh, uh, glow from the bomb does suitably give the movie a uh, haunting tone, and the black and white uh, scenes are, are also a a creative decision that Nolan um, did uh, to uh, portray some of the movie in colour and some in black and white, which makes sense because media back in World War II in the 1940s would have been in black and white. Uh, and uh, but uh, comparing. Oppenheimer's production design with Barbie's production design uh, is uh, like comparing to something you don't see every day to uh, just uh, something you've uh, come to expect. I mean, Oppenheimer just has standard World War II looking sets, whereas Barbie's uh, production design by Scarra Greenwood is uh, off the freaking charts in terms of beauty. Barbie is uh, the one of the most visually stunning movies, period, and the most beautiful looking live action movie I've ever seen in my entire life, and it did it all with a uh, little CGI. Yes, Oppenheimer had little CGI also, but uh, the fact that uh, Barbie, a movie where you think uh, would be CGI heavy, brought 
Barbie land to life uh, practically. The dream houses uh, were especially challenging sets uh, to build because how on earth would they stand up if they had no walls and yet they made it work? And t over 200 litres of pink paint was used uh, just to paint Barbie land. And, and not just one pink, they had different shades of pink. And they even uh, brought in a change of colour when, when the Kens uh, overrun Barbie Land and make it Kendom. Sarah Greenwood Shaw did her best to make the Beauty and the Beast live action remake look uh, glamorous, though uh, of course she could never outdo what uh, Disney did with the hand drawn animation for the original, whereas she had. An, uh, a far easier job with uh, Barbie, as uh, the animation for the animated Barbie movies is certainly not Disney, Pixar or DreamWorks levels, so the live-action Barbie movie was certainly going to outdo its animated predecessors visually. Even when uh, we leave Barbie land and, uh, and go to the real world, Los Angeles, where Greta Gerwig uh, was born, California, and, and the Mattel building, uh, uh, looks uh, immensely stunning and from from a venice beach uh, to which is the prettiest beach i've ever seen in a movie by the way and the mattel building with uh, uh, the uh with the heart uh, shape in in the office uh, it's hard to believe this movie had a cheaper budget for most by most blockbuster standards of just $145 million, so yeah, point goes to Barbie. And our second category in this round is uh, characters, and uh, uh, and honestly, Barbie uh, did uh, its characters better than, than Oppenheimer did. Oppenheimer uh, still uh, had a, a powerhouse a cast from Killian Murphy finally getting his uh, chance in the spotlight as uh, a lead role in, in a Christopher Nolan movie, and he did deservedly get his first Best Actor uh, award for this, so to portray a complicated man who uh, is unfaithful to his wife and builds uh, the deadliest weapon ever devised by man at that time. It, it, is, uh, uh, it is incredibly hard, uh, but, uh, but he uh, totally... Uh, nailed it, and, and uh, even uh, 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 Florence Pugh and uh, and Emily Blunt as the two women in, in his life. Emily Blunt are playing uh, a, uh, a a especially strong character as uh, his wife and uh, and the mother of their children, and uh, and Robert Downey Jr. Bless uh, the guy, he uh, gives uh, his uh, uh, best performance since Tony Stark slash Iron Man, and. I, he said some lovely words that Margot Robbie deserves more credit, so I'm glad he got Best Supporting Actor. Even Gary Oldman gets a brief cameo as the president, uh, who, uh, uh, yeah, it is, uh, and, and he is unrecognisable as the president, because that's how uh, chameleon-like as an actor Gary Oldman is. Oh, and uh, Albert Einstein, one of the... Uh, greatest um, minds of humanity himself stars in this and uh, uh, and uh, his uh, in involvement was uh, was a cert in the story was certainly uh, thought provoking but uh, Barbie uh, unquestionably has the uh, more relatable and uh, more likable and uh, and better written a protagonist in stereotypical Barbie played uh, by uh, uh, the uh, uh, electrifying uh, Mar Margot Robbie in a role that uh, should have got her best actress. Uh, yeah, but sorry, Emma Stone. Some Academy in girl power movies, uh, you, you're supposed to nominate uh, the woman for uh, all, all the awards, uh, you know. M Margot, she not only wore 18 wigs for this movie alone. She not only had a wardrobe of like uh, uh, nearly 20 outfits, a stereotypical Barbie, but you can tell she studied uh, uh, the doll Barbie uh, down a, a to a to down to the nth degree, and until uh, to the point where you are totally biased. She's a plastic uh, doll, uh, like uh, she doesn't eat any physical food, doesn't drink any physical water, and her, 
she's adapted to uh, uh, arch to high heel shaped feet. So she she's extremely naive and has and has lived a sheltered life in Barbie land that she doesn't know anything about the real world until until she gets there and we love uh, how perfect barbie land is like she doesn't wish the real world was like barbie land whereas the real world is way more messed up and, and gritty in comparison barbie land is the equivalent of cloud cuckoo land in lego movie another similarity this movie has with, with lego movie in in that it made a, a movie about a toy uh, a work of art. Margot's emotional lapsing when when she cries and uh, makes you sympathise with her more than any other main character in a movie from from last year. And uh, Barbie has more of a antagonist than than Oppenheimer does. Uh, like uh, R- Ryan uh, Gosling as uh, Ken, uh, he uh, uh, totally he's the more uh, fun performance of of the two. But even he has uh, discovered the real world was not what he thought it was. The real world was what he wished Barbie Land was. That's why he attempted to transform it into Kendom, a society where the Kens would have what the Barbies had. Uh, but uh, even he admits uh, he that being the king of Kendom and patriarchy didn't make him happy once he discovered uh, how toxic it was. Gloria and Sasha uh, were like a Barbie's uh, uh, tr- true family that that so uh, she she never has and uh, and of course you have weird Barbie author Barbie Doctor Barbie uh, uh, Senator Barbie Pr- President Barbie uh, Midge uh, Alan uh, and uh, y- uh, y- yeah by uh, and by the end of the movie not only do the barbies and kens get equal rights but the outcast and discontinued barbies get get equal rights so too uh even ruth handler the creator of barbie herself makes an appearance and wish reva perman would get more recognition for for this role she she added uh, to she she added uh, even more hearts to a movie that is a hundred percent to hearts and soul even more it was beautiful of Gressa to uh, as uh, that so she, she named Barbie after her own daughter Barbara Handler, making Barbie the perfect comfort movie for not just women but but also men for for, for all of d- demographics. Uh, so yeah, I honestly think Barbie has uh, more of a target audience than Oppenheimer. So yeah, point goes to Barbie. And uh, our next category is better soundtrack, but. Barbie uh, wins uh, in a millisecond. Uh, why? Because Oppenheimer's score by Ludwig Gordonson, who also composed Tenet, it is a uh, uh, haunting, uh, yes, and uh, the ticking clock inclusion uh, does uh, make your uh, heart uh, 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 race, and, uh, and it is a, a he- heavy score, but uh, who would take Oppenheimer's soundtrack over Barbie the the album uh, with all of uh, uh, the uh, top class uh, songs and uh, Mark Ronson and Andrew uh, Wyatt's uh, upper beats uh, but moving score at the same time uh, uh, but bar- very few soundtracks uh, do compare to Barbie the album I have been jamming to Barbie the album for uh, uh, an entire year now and, and Barbie is a musical so more emphasis is on the soundtrack anyway whereas Oppenheimer is uh, uh, the furthest thing from a musical so yeah point goes to Barbie. Now our final category uh, uh, the best directed movie and uh, both Greta Gerwig and Christopher Nolan uh, come extremely close here. N- Nolan uh, uh, has uh, changed the face of movies and and cinema, and uh, he, I mean, look at uh, look at uh, his what he's done for IMAX, and I am happy for him that he did get best director and best picture after such a long wait. So, uh, uh, and uh, he uh, did uh, uh, make a. Uh, a historical movie that similar to the boy in the striped pajamas that is not easy to watch but it's important and it makes you think though uh, i think uh, 
Greta Gerwig uh, has also waited so long to get Best Director and Best Picture, and someday she should get them. Greta also made a a beautiful a piece of cinema that uh, makes you think. Barbie is so risky. There's no other blockbuster like it out there. It makes you think big time about how uh, uncomfortable it can be to be human, uh, but uh, yet uh, we yet we can find joy in it, how messed up the real world is, but yet uh, we uh, can still find joy. How perfect the perfection in Barbie land was so uh, toxic and perfection do doesn't exist, and uh, and how the Barbie and Ken's uh, worked out uh, equality, you know, we as humans are still primitive in that and still figuring that out and have still yet to reach a full equality like they have in Barbie Land. Greta in general made Barbie a more re-watchable movie than Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is not a movie I could re-watch multiple times because it's a damn near three hours, Nolan's longest movie, because of how so damn dark it is, uh, whereas uh, uh, Barbie uh, is uh, uh, shorter. It's uh, just an hour and 55 minutes or so. It automatically wins in pacing, and and beyond that, Greta and Margot are are such a uh, unbeatable powerhouse together. They put their blood, sweat, and tears into it. And Margot was afraid this movie was never even going to get made; that Mattel wouldn't allow it to be greenlit because of how controversial it was. And Oppenheimer's is rated fifteen for strong language and sex, whereas Barbie's rated twelve A for moderate innuendo, brief sexual harassment, and implied strong language. So Greta uh, totally made a more accessible movie for for, for uh, uh, everybody. Barbie is more universal. <laughs> Nobody thought Barbie would surpass a billion dollars. And yes, it was made, and yes, it did. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, and it's, yeah, it's one of those movies like Lion King and the original Star Wars that uh, took everybody off guard with how good it was. So, uh, point uh, goes uh, to uh, uh, Greta Gerwig, uh, even though uh, 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 Christopher Nolan is uh, not uh, f far behind. Uh, so, yeah, overall, Barbie wins uh, this uh, all the rounds. So that uh, was uh, an, another uh, versus video, and uh, uh, yeah, and uh, I'm I'm sure uh, 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 the uh, following Christopher Nolan movie uh, will uh, uh, be released uh, with uh, at a time with less competition. Uh, but uh, but yeah, uh, I've I I certainly have a uh, more uh, versus videos uh, in mind uh in, in especially in terms for the disney remakes cuz you have requested me to do a beauty and the beast 1991 versus 2017 well i love you guys thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, versus video and which is your favorite of the two barbie or oppenheimer please comment and let me know please like the video and subscribe please follow me on twitter and on instagram and i'll see you next time uh when a uh, I uh, review Barbie A Touch of Magic Season 1 and 2, as well as, uh, well, uh, uh, Brave, uh, the uh, dread is uh, Despicable Me 4. Oh, uh, uh, I'm gonna need a hug before I uh, see uh, that shit. <laughs> and remember, movies are us. Bye, guys.